Paradise Killer. Hello friends, this is Self-Critical Automaton, a pulsing sine wave rhythm, the beat 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 of your heart. And this is the first episode of my Paradise Killer Let's Play. Hopefully you will have watched the episode 0 setup episode type thingy that I did previously. If not, that's fine. We're going to jump right into the game and play the video game, and I will talk about it while I play it. Very briefly before that though, I want to mention that I have switched off the voice acting in this game as it is kind of randomly applied. Right, so I've played about 20 to 30 minutes of this previously, and I'm going to jump right in and uh, see what's up with this really interesting work of art? P piece of fiction? What do you want to call it? What's a, what is a video game? Paradise Killer. You will soon enter a paradise where fact and truth are not the same. Explore paradise in your own way and find your own truth. The Syndicate created the first Paradise Island to worship their dead alien gods. Guided by leader Montserrat, the Syndicate attempt to resurrect the gods by forcing citizens into psychic worship rituals. However, the worship invites demonic corruption from beyond the stars. The islands always fail. The islands always die, and a new Paradise Island is born. The cycle repeats. Island Sequence 13 Lady Love dies, the Syndicate's lead investigator is deceived by the god Damned Harmony. She endangered paradise, her sentence is eternal exile. The island could not be saved. Demonic corruption began to infect the fabric of paradise. The island died, the citizen slaughter ritual took place. Another paradise island failed, the cycle always repeats. Lady Love dies watched from exile in the idle lands as each island flourished and died. Each iteration got closer to perfection. Demonic corruption events decreased. Island 24 was almost perfect until Henry Division, a lowly citizen, got too close to the gods. He allowed demons to flood the island. The citizens were once again slaughtered. The council began their mediation to end 24 and birth perfect 25. But before they could complete it, Paradise was killed. The Way of Blood Bar, 25th Island Sequence Haha, <laughs> hee hee. The crime to end all crimes. This blend tastes different. The islands define the whiskey. This one definitely tastes of embers. She put the fire out. Was it a cosmic dream? No. They called on her, the exile. They needed to. Lady Love dies, born at the Longest Tower, Britain, in AD 1000, under the sign of Kiss Me to the Moon. The Syndicate's lead investigator. After the Damned Harmony incident on Island 13, the Paradise Psycho Unit was shut down and Love Dies was exiled to the Idle Lands as punishment. Another day in exile. Something's wrong. I can feel it. Island 24 is supposed to be ending, so why am I still here? I have a bad feeling about this. It's interesting that she's exiled, but implicitly is still brought with them each time they, they create a new reality. Anyway, this is the sort of very first intro area, which is mini tutorially and will lead into another tutorial. Relic obtained, fleeting thoughts, lost treasures, the remnants of lives lived, a vignette of another, a window in time. Wistful photo. The outside of the Paradise Psycho unit before it was disbanded. The last photo that was taken of me back on Island 13. I have to say, if I'm going to be imprisoned in the hyperspace time future for for th over 3 million days, 3,004,769 days to be exact, which according to my calculations is just over 8,232 years, then, um, you know, I'd rather be imprisoned in this kind of tacky 1980s opulence than anything else. I, I, love, I love the way these vibes have gone from, you know, wealth and class of the 1980s and kind of cycled all the way around to becoming incredibly tacky and then kind of back to being classy and opulent again. Like, who wouldn't want to sleep in a, a leopard print bed under white marble and gold? A portrait of me painted by Lydia before I was exiled. Is there anything to find around here? No. Apart from the portrait, which I already found. Lady Love Dies. Who are you? The first person you've spoken to in three million days. Can you taste it in the air? The island was supposed to end. Something's wrong. 
You're damn right it is. While you've been exiled up here, all kinds of shit has happened down on the island. What kind of shit? The messed up kind. Real messed up. All kinds of messed up. You used to be the Syndicate's investigator, right? They're talking about you down there. They need the investigation freak. Time to get back in the saddle, get out of the Idle Lands, and get back to work. Exile is over. Why is a demon in the Idle Lands? The name's Shin Uthukjigath, but you can call me Shinji. I'm just here to hang. I've got no horse in this race. What race? Well, someone's made a move against the Syndicate. People are betting on the wrong horses. What do you want, Shinji? I like a good bit of murder. It's a good time. The best time? I'm just here to watch the results play out. You got some solving to do, some investigating, some looking real hard, some good thinking. Time to weave some truth, love dies. Anyway, I gotta bounce. Go get your laptop, you're gonna need it. See you on the island. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. That little runt said I need to find my laptop. He must mean Starlight. Every investigator needs an assistant. Starlight is up by the barrier overlooking the island. So, there's a couple of interesting things about these opening areas of the game with regards to what they tell you about the structure of the game and the nature of the game, things that the player is kind of directly informed of, which um, may or may not be, be breached or broken as eternal truths later on. Dulled percolator. Coffee doesn't taste the same if you're not working. So I think there's just a couple of collectible items lying around in this opening area. At least I found two of them so far. Also, you can sprint, which is a nice touch. Well-read book. A well-read book about an ex-gangster who decided to become a master of grilled chicken skewers. That feels like a reference to something, although what it might be a reference to, I really have no clue whatsoever. So Shinji tells us, um, I'm just an observer, I'm just here to, to see what happens. And that's, I think, directly telling the player, don't worry, this guy's not involved in the investigation. This is this is here for us, the developers, to talk to you. Uh, or to just comment on stuff. So don't worry about factoring this guy into your investigation. That's strange. Why is Starlight unlocked? Three million days up here and now she's calling out to me. Key, item obtained. key to the past, key to the future, key to your heart, key to the truth. Starlight, an investigator's best friend. It's been a while since me and the girl did the dance of an investigation. phone call from Judge is unexpected. Lady Love dies. Madness has overtaken the island. That happened a long time ago. The council were murdered as the new island was born. Is this a prank? Leader Montserrat is dead. The council are dead. This is no joke. A killer tried to take everything from us. The syndicate is about to collapse. You need an investigator, and you're in luck. My diary's pretty empty today. Lady Love dies. I've authorised the use of Starlight. Take her and come to the island. Your exile is over. The prison doors are open. Judge, the barrier's still up. Starlight can dance her way through it. Fall down to us and breathe life back into paradise. And you want me to just fall to the island? The islands haven't changed. The fall won't hurt you. Step off into the abyss and drop to the island. Lydia will be waiting for you. Time to breathe life back into paradise. There's one thing that's odd about that, which is that the game... The game needs to tell you, the player, that you'll be fine jumping off of this thing, but it doesn't make sense that Lady Love Dies would be asking if it was okay to jump right down, because if the islands have never changed, then she would already know that there's no fall damage in this world. So um, it's a little bit odd that they, they decide to do that. So this is a tutorial for how you unlock no unlock things, but I'm going to skip it because it's it's just telling us how it works. We don't actually need to read all that out. Essentially, you have to make the sample picture above by using the, the glyphs available to you, and you unlock new sets of glyphs as you go through the game. Hieroglyphics takes me back to university. I was the only one in the arcane texts class. Looks like language is divided into different groupings of symbols for different types of objects the civilization found important. The rest of the syndicate can't decode these. They have keys coded to the specific machines they are allowed to access. 
The data on the Nightmare computers is tamper-proof, sealed machines that hook into the fabric of the island. There'll be more on the island that I can unlock. Judge said they need me on the island. People who exiled me are dead and I need to find out who, how and why. Time to fall into a pit of crime, a leap of faith into the sun-drenched abyss of memory, secrets and crime. I love the way she monologues to herself. <laughs> I, used, I used to get going like that myself when I was uh, rambling away. I can understand how how it feels to be like that. Paradise Killer. What a title drop. Literally a title drop. I genuinely really love that, that little uh, intro section. The Paradise Gates, the passage to the next island sequence. The gates are in lockdown until I solve the case. Because, um, well, first off, it's just really stylishly done. Secondly, it's great to give you just a whole view of the island as you fall through the air from above, so you can get an idea of this whole place stretching out ahead of you for you to go and explore and rummage in the bins and cross-examine witnesses and do all the other terrible things that the police do. Um, and on top of that, um, they even kind of pull the rug out from under you. You're told that you'll be fine if you fall down. Uh, and then when you hit the ground, you have something very similar to, you know, it's just kind of like a heart stop moment where you're like, oh god, did I hit the ground? Did I die? But you're fine. Anyway, I think it's very clever. Lydia, it's been too long. I'm glad you're back, LD. Lydia Daybreak, your oldest friend. Born in Mwana Falls, Kenya in AD 1001, under the sign of the beautiful Spectre. The Syndicate's ferrywoman responsible for transporting the Syndicate to new island sequences. After an uninteresting childhood spent in worship of beautiful Spectre, she enlisted in the army during her teens. Lydia became known as a titan killer after she successfully defended a temple complex from three monstrosities born from beyond the stars. She retired from the world of assassination when she met Sam Daybreak, fleeing to join the Syndicate together. Thanks, Starlight. Starlight's giving you the full 101, huh? I've been in exile for three million days. She obviously thinks I need a refresher. What did I miss? Evil stuff, LD. Last night was a killer. The council were killed just as the next island was born. Word is a killer got into their building and took a knife to them. How are you feeling? Messed up, LD. This is the worst. The island needs an investigator. You shouldn't have been exiled. We needed you down here. Judge told me to bring you to them. Are you the killer? Can we wrap this up quickly? Straight into the investigating. No, I was partway through a drop-off at the Paradise Gates. You can check the logs. One thing before we go, LD. I can ferry you around the island if you need me to. Save your feet from a hike. If you need a pickup, call me on one of the phones. The phones are deactivated since it's the end of the island, so you'll need to fire them up again. I already activated this phone for you in case you need to come back here. All right, ferry woman reporting for duty. Time to ride, LD. There's a very important lack of a comma in there. Also, I don't have time to read this, but perhaps through the magic of editing. Masahiro Heavy Industries high-grade trans-dimensional navigation vehicle, the MH Nightline. Lydia named her custom model Burn Parliament. It is capable of tearing, traveling through, and resealing holes in dimensions. That seems kind of excessive to me just to get to the beachfront, but... Seatbelts on, LD. How was exile? 3,000 days, 3 million days just flies past. Cheer up, Buttercup, you're back on the island now. Back in the game. It's been so long since we rode together, Lydia. I miss the old days. I know, us girls used to get shit done. It was fun back in the day. How have you been? All good. Life has been relaxed. We got a cat. It's a Bengal. I called it Dagger. You still painting? Uh-huh. Each island is more beautiful than the last. I like to capture them before they go. I like your perfume, by the way. Oh, thanks. Fruity one, isn't it? It's a unique blend I got made specially. It's nice. I'll have to get some on the next island. Sorry, LD. The blend's my own secret recipe. We're almost there. Go on and speak to Judge. If you want to hang, I'll be on the pier. It's been so long since I performed an investigation. You're getting the fire back? It never left. I was born to investigate. Go get him, LD. So, before we go talk to Judge, I... Well, actually, we have no choice but to talk to Judge. If you try and leave, you're told to go back and talk to them. Um, one thing I want to mention before then is just that a lot of stuff gets dropped on us very quickly. And part of the joy of this game, I suspect, is going to be figuring out how this world works and what its deal is. 
the islands themselves are implicitly hived away from reality, or possibly reality itself is kind of a, a mystery, mystery, a kind of a strange oddness that has happened in this bizarre far future. But it's implied that there is a world outside of the Paradise Islands, and the Paradise Islands themselves do not exist necessarily in the same sort of temporal reality as the world these people are drawn from. Whether that world still exists is a mystery at this point, but I hope we'll find out later on whether it's true. Get a quick look at the judge sprite here, and then we will talk. There's a lot of stuff in this conversation which is basically just uh, loading information onto the player, which I think a lot of it could actually have been removed and put into just an info dump into your into your laptop because your laptop does actually record all of your evidence as you go. Hello, Judge. Good to see justice again. Birthplace forgotten. Birth sign forgotten. Every society needs a form of justice, and a syndicate member volunteered. They believed so deeply in impartial justice that they scrubbed their ego and fused themselves to the island, becoming Judge. They would become the embodiment of justice, acting on behalf of the island. Starlight is helping you navigate through the Sea of Truth already. Judge. Paradise requires power and sacrifice. Welcome back to the bloodstained paradise, Lady Love dies. The investigator is here, tell me about the crime. The council are dead, our leaders are gone, the back black pall of crime hangs over us. Leader Montserrat has been taken from us. The whole council were murdered at once? They gathered to birth the new island, our perfect new home, Perfect 25. At the end of their meditation, the killer struck. Arrogance put the entire council in one room. Hubris is a large gap in armour. If you're a murder junkie, that's quite the hit. What time? Midnight. The holy hour. The hour of weird. The hour of- Judge, I get it. All of the council were murdered last night at midnight. Do you have a suspect? It's a miracle. A mass murderer in custody. Henry Division, a citizen possessed by a demon. He's killed before, a decade ago. He came back. We found the knife in his hand and the council's blood in his stomach. The oppressed rise up, who'd have thought? Where's the crime scene? The council's own penthouse, the brutalist tower that reaches into the sky. Has anyone been in there? The council are protected by four holy seals. Only our leaders can open them. We cannot get into the crime scene. We cannot assess the slaughter. How did the killer get in? Truth waits for you in the shadows. Truth hides behind the smoke of crime. We only know the nature of the first Holy Seal, two of the finest God Justice Marshals stationed as guards, as sentinels. Both butchered by the monster. Demonic sigils cover the suspect's body, scorched onto him by the astral demon inside him. Those same sigils are daubed in the Marshal's blood at the entrance to the council building. If no one's been in the crime scene, how do you know the council are dead? Their work is done, a new island has been born, and yet they have not emerged from their chambers. The accused was found with a red slick knife and a belly full of the blood of the council members. In this instance, the answer to the terrifying equation is a dreadful murder. I'm going to assume there are no eyewitnesses if it's a locked room murder. None that have come forward. Why would someone decapitate the syndicate now? Is it an interloper? A god? A desirer of power? Is it naked ambition played out with a knife in a penthouse? A power play? A sicko killing for kicks? The world's a twisted place, it wouldn't surprise me. The balance has existed for millennia. Who's running the show now? I installed Architect Carmelina as acting leader. We have birthed Perfect 25, a wonderful new home of her design. She is best placed to oversee this new transition. As bizarre as this vision of crime is, there is a further anomaly. Just the one? You remember K-Hax, our master craftsman. What about him? He is missing. We haven't had any contact with him for several days. This is doubly concerning, as he designed the second holy seal that protects the council. Is he a potential killer? If you can track the right truth through the darkened forest of secrecy, you might be able to prove it. Lady Love dies, it's been a while since we needed you. The Syndicate is in danger. You are in danger. Unspoken things beyond the stars are in danger. The island will not give up its secrets easily. What is the truth? What are the facts? Are they the same? Evidence, testimony, these are yours to find, yours to take. We must find who did this. Crime cannot hide. Crime always wants to be found. The nature of crime is perverse. Starlight has the blood records of the council. I have just updated Starlight with a blood sample of Henry as well. Use them to examine the murder weapon and the crime scene. I need this solved so that we can move on to the new island. A suspect is not enough. I need concrete proof. I am linked to Starlight, a conduit of justice. She will track your case files, and she has just unlocked her suspect module. 
Investigate, interrogate, find the gold evidence in the silt of the island. When you are ready, bring them to me and we will begin trials. The trials will determine the guilty. Assemble your facts and present a truth to me. You may not understand your truths. Bring them to trial and we will reveal the guilty together and attain clarity. We can start the trials whenever you are ready. They will be the climax of your investigation, but you determine when that climax will be. Are you ready to investigate? This island will try to hide the truth from you. When love dies, all that remains are the facts. A duel across the sun-drenched streets between the investigator and the truth. Paradise Island is yours. Crime details received. I'm not going to read all of these because we can go over them later. This is just the initial details of the events, as far as we know them. A blood sample taken from Henry Division, the prime suspect of the council murder. So, at this point, we're set free to go investigate. But this conversation serves a few important purposes. One is that it is telling you the rules of the game. First, you have as much time as you like to complete your investigation. You can explore every inch of this island before you make a single decision. When you feel like you have enough information to be able to say who did the crime and prove it, you can bring it here. As I understand it, there are multiple different endings, and I believe it's possible to come to a lot of different conclusions that may or may not be correct about the, uh, the person who has committed this crime, or persons, as the case may turn out, who knows. Secondly, it is telling you um, the judge is impartial and the information in your laptop is impartial. Those are facts and everything else is interpretation. People might lie to you, people might be confused. Um, you know, if someone says something to you that is, this person told you this thing, not that is objective truth, except for the judge. That itself opens up some interesting philosophical questions because the islands are made by the syndicate. So the fact that the judge is wired into the island to be an arbiter of impartial justice does not necessarily mean that it's impartial. After all, the rules are decided by the people who make the place, and uh, it's already being hinted at that the citizens of this island are kind of just heavily oppressed, as opposed to the, uh, the syndicate, who are the rulers of the island, and who are, according to the game, almost the only real people who exist. If you toggle on AR mode, you can see all of the different syndicate mem members all over the island, and a handful of the uh, marshals. The marshals are marking locations that you might want to visit for your investigation. There's the crime scene, and then there's the various different syndicate members all over the place. For us to go and, and bother relentlessly, I suppose. Which we will get to next episode, because this is pretty much where we're at. But there's a lot of interesting questions to deal with already. Not just the crime itself, but also what is the nature of this society? How does it interact with the implicit wider world beyond it? And um, how can we trust justice if justice itself is said to be impartial based on the fact that it is a part of the world? But that world itself was designed and decided upon by, you know, the fallible minds of people. Not just the fallible minds of people, but the minds of the people who rule. A moment of your time. What now? Am I going to be seeing a lot of you? I understand you got a lot on your plate. A mass murder on an island full of weirdos and all that. I feel for you, I really do. Skip to the end. You know the blood crystals? That currency you guys are so precious about? I took the liberty of acquiring some while everyone was leaving. You mean stole? Not people, rich people. Screw them, soulless bastards. Anyway, you'll need some currency to make it through this. Grease the wheels and all that. The point is, I've scattered the blood crystals all around the island for you to find. A little game, a bit of fun. A little fun game. You need currency, right? Bribe a secret out of someone here, a bottle of whiskey there, you know. You and I have different definitions of fun. Potatoes, tomatoes. That's not right. Catch you later. I love the... As far as I can tell, the role of this character is basically just... Well, it's twofold. One is to provide a sort of line of Socratic questioning directly from the developers to the minds and eyes of the player. Um, because, you know, it's worth remembering. You are told this is infallible, this is true. But how much of that can you really trust? Anyone can say anything, really. There's no reason why the people in charge of this place would be would be bound by by its own rules. Um, anyway, uh, the, other, the other thing is just kind of mock and taunt the player, which I really enjoy. Uh, you know, make a few smug comments and then dis disappear in a puff of brimstone and smoke. Anyway, so that's going to be all from me for today. This is the first episode. I hope you'll join me for the second. Also, I forgot to mention this previously, but I have a Discord server for, like, updates and announcements and stream information. I also have a Patreon and a Ko-fi. I usually 
put this stuff in a little stingery thingy at the end of the video, which I've just realized I can do anyway. So uh, yeah, I forget I mentioned any of that, unless you do want to give me money, in which case, please give me money. That's uh, gonna be all from me for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, and share. I also stream on Twitch, and I now have a Discord server for stream scheduling. You can contribute to my existence on Ko-fi or Patreon, and all of those links are in the video description. Thanks so much for watching.